Imagine turning something as simple as rice washing water into a powerful, living solution that strengthens your plants, protects them from disease, and enriches your soil with beneficial microorganisms. Today on Soil and Crop Central, you're going to learn exactly how to ferment lactic acid bacteria using rice wash water step-by-step -step, with precise measurements, timings, and application methods. This is one of the simplest yet most effective natural farming techniques you can master right at home. Why ferment lactic acid bacteria? Lactic acid bacteria, often shortened to lab, are microscopic powerhouses that play an essential role in soil and plant health. They work by breaking down organic matter into nutrients that plants can immediately absorb. They also create a protective barrier against harmful pathogens. Think of La B as the friendly defenders of your soil, forming colonies that literally outcompete and suppress disease-causing organisms. For farmers and gardeners alike, the ability to brew your own LAB solution means cutting costs on expensive fertilizers and pesticides while boosting plant resilience in a natural, eco-friendly way. And the best part? All you need to start is rice, water, salt, and sugar, ingredients you probably already have in your kitchen. Step 1. Collecting the rice wash water. The process begins with something you do all the time. Washing rice. But instead of discarding that cloudy water, you're going to turn it into a microbial starter culture. The key is to only use the first rinse, because this wash contains the highest concentration of starch and nutrients that lactic acid bacteria love. Step 2 is preparing the starter with salt. Once you've collected the rice wash water, add one tablespoon of salt for every liter of liquid. Salt might seem like a strange ingredient at first, but it plays a crucial role here. By adding just the right amount, you suppress the growth of harmful bacteria while giving lactic acid bacteria the upper hand. Too much salt, however, could harm your soil later on by altering its salinity and alkalinity, so it's important to measure carefully. Step 3. The first fermentation stage. Now it's time to let nature take over. Place your sealed bottle in a room temperature environment, away from direct sunlight. Do not refrigerate it. Lactic acid bacteria thrive best in moderate warmth. Allow the mixture to sit for two full days. During this stage, the bacteria in the rice wash water begin adjusting to their new environment, and the salt works to filter out unwanted competitors. Step 4 is feeding the bacteria with sugar. After the first two days, it's time to supercharge the fermentation by feeding the growing bacteria. Open the bottle and add two tablespoons of white sugar for every liter of rice wash water you started with. Sugar is the fuel that propels the growth of lactic acid bacteria, providing them with energy to multiply rapidly. Step 5 is the second fermentation stage. Now comes the main waiting period. You'll want to allow the mixture to ferment for an additional 5 to 7 days at room temperature, still avoiding direct sunlight. This is when the population of lactic acid bacteria really takes off, transforming the rice wash water into a potent microbial solution. The way to know it's ready is by smell. When you open the bottle, it should give off a pleasant, tangy aroma very similar to natural yogurt. This is your confirmation that the fermentation has succeeded and that you now have a living culture of lactic acid bacteria ready to use. Step 6 is how to apply the solution. Once your fermented LAB solution is ready, it's time to put it to work in your garden. There are two main methods of application, soil drenching and foliar spraying. For soil application, dilute the fermented solution at a ratio of 1 part lab E to 20 parts water. In practical terms, if you have 100 milliliters of fermented lab E, mix it with 2 liters of clean water. Pour this dilution directly at the base of your plants so that the beneficial bacteria colonize the root zone. Here, they form protective microbial communities that block harmful pathogens from attacking the roots while simultaneously breaking down organic matter into nutrients plants can easily absorb. 
For foliar spraying, you'll need to make the dilution much lighter to avoid overwhelming the plant leaves. Mix one part labi with 100 parts water. For example, 50 milliliters of labi should be diluted into 5 liters of water. Spray this gently over your plant leaves, ensuring good coverage. This application helps prevent leaf-borne diseases and provides plants with an extra layer of microbial defense. The science behind the benefits. So, why does this simple mixture work so effectively? The answer lies in the way lactic acid bacteria interact with their environment. When they metabolize sugar, they produce lactic acid, which naturally lowers the pH of the solution. This acidic environment makes it difficult for harmful bacteria and fungi to survive, while beneficial bacteria flourish. Moreover, lactic acid bacteria are incredibly efficient at breaking down complex organic compounds into smaller, plant-available molecules. Nutrients like potassium, which are vital for fruiting and vegetable crops, become more readily accessible thanks to the activity of these microbes. The result is stronger plants, better yields, and healthier soil that continues to improve with each application. One of the great things about this method is its sustainability. You can store the finished LAB solution in a sealed container at room temperature for several weeks. Just make sure it remains capped to prevent contamination and evaporation. If you want to extend its shelf life further, refrigeration is also an option, though in most climates it isn't strictly necessary. For long-term use, apply the diluted solution to your crops every two to three weeks. Regular application ensures that beneficial colonies remain strong and dominant, continually suppressing harmful organisms in your soil and on your crops. And there you have it, a complete, step-by-step -step method for fermenting lactic acid bacteria using nothing more than rice wash water salt and sugar. This isn't just a gardening trick, it's a powerful science-backed approach to sustainable farming that you can implement right now with everyday household ingredients. It's inexpensive, natural, and most importantly, effective. If you found this video from Soil and Crops Central valuable, don't keep it to yourself. Hit that subscribe button, share this resource with fellow growers, and help us spread these sustainable farming practices to more people who need them. Together, we can build healthier soils, stronger plants, and more abundant harvests, all starting with a simple bottle of rice wash water.